everyone, today we're going to be making this super adorable little patriotic cheesecake, so let's get started. You will need polymer clay in the colors translucent, red, white, and blue, a icing tip, a dotting tool, a blade, a small circular cutter, and optional, a small flower cutter if you want to look like a bite has been taken, a needle tool, some sort of liquid clay, glaze, and something to brush on your glaze. Take some red, blue, and white clay and try to make them all equal, and then mix them each half and half with translucent. As soon as they are all mixed together thoroughly, roll them out and make the white and the blue rolled out at the same thickness and the red just a touch thicker. As soon as they are all rolled out into sheets, and these two are the same, and this one is a touch thicker, cut out one circle of the blue, one circle of the red, and two circles of the white. As soon as all your circles are cut out, apply some liquid clay to the top of your blue, then attach some white, then some more liquid clay, and then another layer of white, and the blue is going to be your graham cracker crust dyed blue and the white is your cheesecake and the red is going to be the jello gelatin part then just stack those like so and then put into your freezer for 15 minutes to half an hour or longer or just let it rest overnight now while our little cheesecake is in the freezer or sitting out take some pure white clay and your liquid clay and squeeze some into it and then mix that in just so that we get some nice soft clay to put through our icing tip. Now take some of your leftover clay from the gelatin that we made and roll into a ball and then like a teardrop shape like that and then take your dotting tool and poke in little holes. Repeat all the way around and then you have a raspberry and then set it aside. Pop it out of the freezer and flatten, fold it on its side, squish it a little bit, do whatever you need to just to get rid of those lines from the cutters, and just make it however you want. Then take a needle tool, I'm using a, a safety pin, and now texture the blue bottom in tiny circles or figure eights just so you get a cake-like texture, and that will be the Graham, Graham Cracker Crust. Once you have that like cake texture, we can add a bite if you want. You can do this before or after texturing. I'll just do it after so I like the way it looks. But I'm just going to take this small flower cutter and place it where I want it. You can, this is optional, but I just want it to look like it's had a bite taken out of it. So just cut through like so, so it looks like a bite. And now... For the cheesecake texture, since it isn't like normal cake, even though it has the word cake in it, we just are going to rough it up with our X-Acto blade knife. So just kind of go in circles, but kind of rough it up. And if you get like little cake, um, what do they call it, little crumbs, you would just can flatten them out with your blade and just continue all the way around and on the inside of your bite along with your cake texture on the bottom if you want a bite. As soon as you like the way it is textured, take your white clay that you softened with liquid clay and stick it in your icing tip, like so. And then take the end of your X-Acto knife, and I'm just going to trim off the top here. Take the end of your X-Acto knife and push it through and push until clay goes through. So just make enough to make a little circle on top and I'm just going to make it a touch longer and then pull it off set your thing aside and twist like so and then take your little cheesecake and some liquid clay and squeeze some on top and then take your little thing of cream 
and wrap it into a tiny little twist around it like so and then you can pinch off some excess and just so you have like a little dollop of cream then take the raspberry we made stick it on top and then add a head pin eye pin or ice cream if you want to charm and bake at the correct time and temperature As soon as it is out of the oven, it is time to glaze, so go ahead and glaze your piece. And you're done! Thank you so much for watching! Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a blossom day! Bye!